thing really I can, I can see our defense and excitement to get back out on the field. Um, you know, we really obviously don't feel that we played very well really for five and a half quarters. Um, I know the focus normally would be on two games, but um, Arizona had 13 points partway through that third quarter. Then obviously we put together uh, five and a half four quarters. So anytime that you feel like that, much like the offense did after the Stanford game, you get excited to get back out on the field and, and play again. So Saturday can't come fast enough. Arizona State well, I don't think anybody compares to Oregon. I think that any time um, you have a system that really you kind of built and other people run, um, you know, it's never going to be the same. But what they, they present issues because the quarterback's playing very efficient. Look at his quarterback rating. Three different backs in there that make plays, not just in the running game, but also in the pass game. They throw the backs a lot. And then the quarterback's ability to make plays when things break down and, and, get, and he's able to run. In terms of the pace, though, uh, yeah, but I don't think it's the same type of pace um, you know, that we just faced. So the good thing about that is, after Oregon games, you do see uh, an extremely fast pace. So at least, at least you played against it. Well, you guys played pretty well defensively against Oregon last year till till the end. I mean, what, what's the I mean, what was the difference? Did you guys do the same types of things and approach the game the same way? Or? Well, I think first off, you know, you got to credit them. Anytime you put up those type of historical numbers, you know, uh, you're doing something right. You know, they, they had three plays. They don't run a lot of plays, as everybody knows. Um, there were three different plays in that game that they had not shown all year long, which is unusual for them. Usually they just kind of run their same plays over and over. So um, credit to them for scheming really well as well. So we had a lot of rules built in for, for certain things that, um, you know, they came and did some different things, and, and that, that definitely – gave us some issues and I think that, like I said that's a credit to them after you know I'm sure that uh, you know Chip didn't feel like they moved the ball on off the year before and our guys had done a good job so um, next time we'll be ready to adjust. The school released a uh, Heisman video for Marquis today what are your thoughts on that? Well I think um, <clears throat> if you look at what Marquis has done and I think You've heard me talk about hidden storylines because of our inability to win games, especially the last two weeks. You have some historical performances coming out of the quarterback and coming out of Marquise um, that, that are being missed. And um, I, I don't have an issue with that. That is what it is, win games. You know, when you win, we always tell our players, the more games you win, the more awards come. And so, you know, I, think I, I didn't have anything to do with the production of the video, but I think the guy is, it would be hard to argue that He's not playing as well as anybody in America. Uh, the dynamic plays that he makes uh, does not get as much touches as a running back would you know, or a quarterback would. Um, so it's unusual for a receiver to have the type of numbers that he's having combined um, with total offense the course of the last two weeks. How old do you – go ahead. I was just going to say, did you catch what uh, Coach Shaw had to say about Marquis yesterday? Uh, he did text me. I, I had not seen it, but he, he texted me. Uh, he didn't realize he was going to get, get so much play, um, but that he meant it. Uh, I mean, that, that's a pretty big statement. So I, I think when other people are saying that, you know, just, the head coach, you're always going to say good things about your stars. But when other people are making statements like that, I think that that should be even more powerful than a video being sent out or numbers being sent out. Why he, why Marquis should be considered in, in awards conversations. How uh, do you think your secondary is playing? Not well. I mean, you, know, you, you can't play well in any phase of defense in a game and give up what we did or what we have in the last two games. So, um, you know, the blame is on all of us. And, you know, for an offense that was a running offense to give up the efficiency in the passing game that we did was obviously very discouraging. So, um, we're moving forward. Uh, we're going to have a really good week of practice and hopefully get back on track and play defense like we had been prior to the last five and a half quarters. What has to happen, do you think, specifically, I mean, about getting the game planning? Um, for the secondary to improve, and what do they have to? Well, I, you know, if you go to the five and a half quarters, you know, you, you've seen a lot of completions. You've seen a very high completion percentage. Uh, you know, so we're not causing people issues. And then, um, especially last week, you saw a lot of missed tackles. Has TJ McDonald played up to the standard he set for himself in these last five and a half quarters? Well, I, I probably not because TJ's standards are so high. You know, um, TJ's very competitive, wants to be the best player in America, and so. Um, miss a couple tackles, you know, you're not playing to that standard. So um, I know he's, you know, as a leader of our defense.
defense, he, he feels the same that he you know, wants to really get back out on the field, play well this Saturday, and I expect our defense to do that. Outside of their frustration as a unit and their, I guess, their emotional state, they've been on the field an awful lot the last two weeks. I think it's 94 and 83 plays. I mean, how concerned are you about that going into this game? Is that something you guys have stressed? Is getting off the field? Yeah, you know, um, we didn't get off the field last week, uh, hardly at all, and so it was a combination of two things. Then we had. Um, you know, I think two one play, 75 yard drives on offense, so we went right back out there. The scary thing is, is we've actually were pretty efficient on the third down. You know, to think of if we weren't, how fast we'd have to go back out there. So um, that's not really an offensive issue of those numbers of plays. That's about getting off the field, and we were doing it early in the in the Arizona game uh, on third down. So we've got to get off the field. We've got to make the turnovers when they're there for us to make. Um, you know, we really had in 90 plays last week. There was one turnover which we had nothing to do with. You know, it was, a, it was a missed exchange, so we've got we've got to force more turnovers. It's on the same trail, you know, Lamar and stuff Nick. He's not started about a year through the games. And how you assess his performance as far as this season if he's reached your expectations? Yeah, I think Lamar's done well. Um, you know, in his first full full year, uh, wasn't healthy early in the year, so he's so he's as healthy as he's been, and um, he's doing well.